Hello, Garrett here with Partzilla.com, and today I'm going to teach you how to do an oil service on a 2005 Honda CRF 450R. It's a super simple job, just need to drain the oil, replace the filter, and fill it back up. It's that simple. So let me go grab a couple tools and we can get started. Okay. Super simple job today, so I'm only gonna rate it as a skill level one. Now, let's go over the tools you'll need for the job. You'll need an eight and a 10 millimeter socket, possibly an extension, a ratchet, and a torque wrench. As far as the parts go, reference our exploded diagrams at partzilla.com. There, it'll give you an up close and detailed point of view of how everything comes apart, and more importantly, how it all goes back together. So, grab your tools and let's turn some wrenches. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is remove our left engine cover. That way, we can actually remove the oil filter. It's held in place by one 10 millimeter bolt. Then, we're gonna remove the oil fill cap. That way it'll allow the crankcase to breathe properly and actually drain all our engine oil. Okay, next step is to remove the drain bolt. It's held in place with a 10 millimeter bolt as well. Okay, I've got majority of the engine oil drained out of the dirt bike now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the kill switch and turn the engine over four or five times with the Kickstarter. That way it'll pump any additional oil out of the engine. Okay, now it's time to install our new drain bolt, but don't forget to install a new crush washer before you reinstall it. That way it'll seal properly. Okay, now we're gonna torque our drain bolt to 12 foot pounds. Okay, next up is to remove the oil filter. It's held in place with two eight millimeter bolts. Now if you notice, there's two different lengths of bolts that come out of the oil filter bracket. The longer one goes towards the front of the motorcycle and the shorter one goes towards the rear of the motorcycle. Just like that. Gonna take us a flathead screwdriver and pry the cap off. And don't forget to retrieve your spring that way your oil filter will go in correctly. And if you look at the cap, you notice there's an O-ring there. We're gonna wanna replace it with a new one. And replace it with our new one. Okay, now it's time for the new oil filter. Now if you notice, on the front of it, it actually is marked outside, and it also has a black grommet. And you look at the back side, there's no grommet. The front side, there's a grommet, and it's labeled outside. You want to insert the oil filter with it outside facing out, of course. And don't forget your spring. Now it's time to install the oil cap. And starting with our longer bolt towards the front and the smaller bolt towards the rear. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to torque these bolts to nine foot-pounds. Now we'll put our engine cover back on. Okay, the last step now is to fill the bike back up with oil. Now this model holds 0.73 quarts, and the oil I'm putting in it today is Honda HP4. It's a synthetic blend. Okay, you may ask yourself, how often should I do this? Well, Honda recommends to replace the engine oil and filter after every six races or 15 hours. So just keep that in mind. Okay, we have the bike filled up with oil. Now it's time to check the level. And we do that by making sure the bike is standing straight up. And if you look towards the bottom of the crankcase, you can see a sight glass. And to the side of it, you can see the letters H and L. Those indicate high and low. We want our oil level somewhere between the two of those. And as you can tell, I'll shake the bike back and forth a little bit. We're right in that margin. So we're good to go. Now it's time to put the oil cap back on. Well, okay, that wraps this one up. It wasn't that hard, was it? And it's gonna save you some cash because you didn't have to drag it to a pesky dealer. Listen, for parts used in this project and more, come check us out at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Just wanna say thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.